Oh, dear Lord. Mo, do not let your mom go to hospice. ALS is not a life sentence, honestly. What doctors don't know is that she has several viruses in her brain. They're herpetic viruses. That's medical medium information anyways, which is advanced information beyond what science and research knows. So it's multiple viruses from the herpetic family, probably HHV6, um, maybe a couple of different strains of the herpes virus, and could even be a few strains of the Epstein-Barr virus mixed with toxic heavy metals, especially aluminum. So what I would do is, first of all, not give up on your mother ever. Um, and then I'm going to send you a list of foods that you should be having her consume. And basically the combination, she has to have mineral salts and glucose together. Very important. Concentrate a lot on wild blueberries. I mean, even if you have to take the wild blueberries and frozen, thaw them, put them in your blender and then, you know, mix it with a little bit of water, put a straw in it and have your mom drink that. Also cherries and um, raspberries, blackberries, pomegranate, all types of melons, oranges, sweet potato, potato, celery juice. Celery juice is a good one. Make your mom a fresh glass of celery juice, 16 ounces plain, don't mix anything with it. Um, that's got the mineral salts that she's going to need. Kale stems. The precious living water in kales has a tremendous amount of mineral salts. I'm not sure if she can actually eat, but if she has to blend stuff in a smoothie and then you feed it to her with a spoon, make sure that you're combining leafy greens with fruits. Very important. Dandelion greens and squashes of all kinds. Dates and figs are really good. Um, if she can do grains, either lentils or beans or quinoa, again, you can throw this stuff in your blender after it's been cooked and mash it up like baby food and feed it to her with a spoon. And bananas, oh, bananas are highly antiviral. Even if she can just eat spinach and bananas and just have that all day, if that's the only thing that she can eat, then that's gonna be a tremendous amount of help for her. Getting heavy metals out of the brain. So that's the heavy metal detox smoothie. Spirulina, barley grass juice powder, orange juice, banana, Atlantic sea dulse if she can stomach it, and fresh cilantro. Fresh cilantro is really important. Helps to pull the heavy metals out of the brain, as does eating a little bit of cooked sweet potato and supplemental melatonin. Some other helpful supplements that you might want to consider, whether you have them at home yourself. Um, the barley grass juice powder and spirulina, as I mentioned. Ginkgo biloba, ginkgo leaf, actually. Ginkgo leaf. Uh, coenzyme Q10. Lemon balm is really good for the central nervous system and pulling viruses out of the central nervous system. And, you know, ALS is connected to the central nervous system because of the viruses that are in her brain. So we really have to work on getting these toxic heavy metals and the viruses out of her brain. ALA actually is probably the best supplement that a person with ALS could possibly incorporate into their protocol, along with chaga mushroom. Uh, the company Vimergy has a really good chaga mushroom, as well as the Vimergy and the barley grass juice powder. I know that ALS can be difficult because when someone gets the diagnosis, they're, the person almost sees themselves halfway into the grave because the doctors, they have no idea that it's multiple viruses that are affecting the brain, which affects the central nervous system, making it impossible almost impossible for a person to function and walk. So by putting the antiviral fruits and greens in her body, do not give her like animal protein. This is not going to pull viruses out of the body. And because she's probably not eating a lot right now, it's really important. The foods that you do feed her are a combination of mineral salts and glucose. Make sure you're putting those two together with absolutely every feeding. 
You can honestly get your mother out of this. Um, hospice is not a place for anyone to be. I mean, hospice is the death sentence here. And we don't want your mom to further subject herself to an environment that's going to make her in her mind feel like she's already halfway in the grave. If you can even just get raw honey, raw unpasteurized honey and and feed that to her off a off a tablespoon and then if you if she can swallow like the Vimergy barley grass juice powder capsules and the Vimergy spirulina capsules, even if she can just do that. I mean, it's incorporating the antiviral fruits. Honey is very antiviral, as is the banana. If you can mash up banana and honey and feed that to her off the spoon and then give her the barley grass juice powder capsules and spirulina capsules, you're doing her a huge service. And remember, the things that feed viruses are all dairy, eggs, wheat, gluten, corn, soy, canola. I mean, I don't know what she's eating in the hospital, but if she's eating, you know, meat, it's going to have the animal's adrenaline. Adrenaline also feeds viruses. If she's eating meat in the hospital, it's going to have hormones and antibiotics. And this antibiotics feeds viruses and they also weaken the immune system and they weaken the liver. So we really need to make sure that she's not eating a stitch of dairy, no yogurt, no refined sugar. Don't let her eat the jello. The hospital food is not going to contribute to your mother recovering. So it's important that you just, you provide her the food. You get in there, you feed her every meal, you make her the smoothies, you make her the celery juice, make her cucumber juice. You have to be the one to take control of this situation for your mother, Moat. It's very important because the doctors are going to further put her in the grave. Because they have no idea what it is that causes ALS, they don't care about what she's eating. All they're doing is just waiting for her to go. And I think that is the most inhumane practice that any human being can bestow on another human being. So we need you to take control of this situation. Critically clean carbohydrates, the glucose from critically clean carbohydrates, potatoes, sweet potatoes, honey, coconut water. Coconut water has an incredible amount of uh, glucose. Make sure it's just coconut water. Do not get a coconut water that has citric acid or any other preservatives in it. And again, combining mineral salts, leafy greens with the glucose is key for your mother right now. Please save all these voice notes. This is going to be the saving grace for your mother, but it's going to take both of you. You have to make sure, even if you let your mom hear these messages, you, like, Moat's mom, you have to know ALS is not a death sentence. We can reverse this for you. You have to change your mindset and you have to change your mindset in one that is of a healing nature. You have to tell yourself that you can pull yourself out of this. You can reverse this. It's so unfortunate that the medical communities do not understand that the reason why you are where you are right now is because you have multiple herpetic viruses in your brain and it's causing you seriousness neurological damage, along with a plethora of toxic heavy metals that are in your brain, primarily aluminum. If we can rid your body of the viruses and the heavy metals, you're going to, you're going to recover. Simple as that. Sending you and your family much love and blessings at this time. Know that even though I'm in Canada, far, far away, I'm thinking of you all and I am just, <sighs> I'm, I'm praying for you all, but I know that if you work together, you can all get through this. You can, you can reverse the ALS. You can get past this. I have the utmost faith in all of you. Much love and, and respect and many blessings to you all.